was gonna lie to you, but I had to tell the truth. I'm just being honest. Well, speaking about Aaliyah, do you have any any stories or anything that you feel like the world needs to know about her that, that hasn't been said yet? There's a lot that went on that hasn't been said yet, but I'm not ready to speak. Understood. Damn, we tried to get that Cat Williams in here. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, exactly. no, That's I mean, real, bro. I mean, That's like, real. I think it's fairly obvious that yeah. at a certain age, everyone was looking the other way. Mm-hmm. So that shows you the temperature of everybody back then. Yeah. It was a different, it was different. Like, it's just the kind of exploitation that was just accepted. Yeah. So, you know, me, I'm conscious and I'm like, yo, everybody's crazy. And that was the reason why I pivoted from the music business and that business because motherfuckers was weird. I stopped going out because I'd be like, yo, these girls are too young. Wow. Wow, mogul. Bang, bang, bang. Understand that this is a mogul. And a peer of P. Diddy. Like, Dang was on that level for you all who don't remember, right? It's too young to remember. So he's speaking of the things that he saw. And him having uh, Aaliyah as his fiance before losing Aaliyah tragically in 2001. But he's speaking on her experiences that he knew of as well, right? So that's something to think about. Connect Aaliyah with what's going on with Diddy and knowing R. Kelly the connection there and all of these people are all connected with each other from this era and we thought everything was all good so Dame also revealed that he stopped going to the party and got out of music business because the girls were getting so young and everybody was getting so weird he didn't say who but this is a very credible source it makes you wonder about the domino effect and how many things are going to be revealed this year and going forward. Because I think one of the reasons why many people are quiet, unlike Dane, who's speaking out, is because if I was at the party and I saw you, and that means I was at the party too, right? In order to see you, in order to be a witness, you have to be present. So I'm going to tell what you were doing. It means you can tell what I was doing. That's just my opinion. And that's why you have the silent treat, right? Bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all of that shit. So did you, did, you, did you ever hit a Diddy party? I went to, um, with Aaliyah and Natani and Jay. We went to July 4th, and that was the night that me and Aaliyah made it happen the first night. Let's go. Yeah. So, but, and Jennifer Lopez was there, and I left early. Uh, I left, oh, I left, oh, oh, I left okay. early and took all so that's, the, that's and the took thing. every female that was with me back with me. Like so you got to leave early. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this the night of the infamous photo, right? That we all see. The photo is Jay Z, Aaliyah, Dame, and another woman, and Puff and J Lo. So I think these are iconic people who have a very full schedule. So the chances of them being at the same event, taking the same photo at the same time is very minute, small, right? So that picture, right? I guess we'll put the picture up on the edit so you all can see. It's just the night that he was talking about. This is my thought. <laughs> I have no, I, I never, I, me and Puff, I the, the thing about it was Puff was always like on a different street, but in the same, in the same neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like they was more like Motown, we was more like Stax Records. Mm -hmm. We was all we was all drug dealers and they was like R and B singers. Yeah. So we like 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 I remember I I remember um I was I forgot what studio it was, but uh we went to the studio and Mace was there and he had that red suit on. He was about to do that record when they had the shiny suits. Yeah. He had the red shiny suit. And I used to manage Mace. And I was like, What the fuck are you doing? Are you out your mind? Do you see what you got on? And he was like, man, this nigga got me wearing this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you was managing Mace while he was on Bad Boy? Hell no. Oh, okay. I was managing Mace when they were children of the corn. Okay. And it was Big L and Bloodshed, God Bless the Dead, which was Cam's cousin, and Cam. And um, and um, Mace was Mace Mussolini. Okay. So... I couldn't believe that that shit worked. That shit ended up being a hit record and blah, blah, blah. But then look how it turned out. Yeah. So I was right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Oh man, I love hearing about the good old days or the days I assume were good because I'm <laughs> revealing things that maybe the 90s just weren't as good as we remember them being. And uh, I want to make this point that you see the domino effect, how Dane was managing Mace. Mace was signed a bad boy. Mace was in a group with Big L and Cameron. Cameron was on Entertainment. Un had an altercation with Jay Z, who's on Rockefeller. That it's like they were as famous as these people were. It was like they were all part of this little small, very small junior high school of three hundred people. And it's like they have so many stories about one another. But uh, it goes back to what I said about why so many people from that era that are big figures are so quiet. Because hey, I saw you doing it. So I'm doing my thing. And we didn't think things would get to this point. They are today where people are being canceled and things are being brought up and revealing moment, revealing time. I thought this was a very, very informative clip from a very, very credible source. It's dang bad.